What's going on, Foam Fam? It's your boy, Not Enough. Today, we are reviewing the Bu Blaster Fire Bull M32 Pyro Dart Blaster. Rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? Guys, now there is something important that I must talk about in regards to Bu Blaster. When they originally offered to send me a blaster for review, I was completely open to the offer. What happened after that is part of the reason why I personally do not like shipping overseas when I do my giveaways. The original blaster that Bu Blaster sent me for review completely disappeared off the face of this earth. We're all scratching our heads. Nobody knows what happened to it. It reached the United States, successfully cleared customs, and then there's no trace of that package whatsoever. Now, the reason I'm able to review this blaster I decided to purchase this blaster along with a few others that they had that I've seen on other reviews that I actually like because I also want to bring you guys my 100% honest and transparent opinion that order did make it in I wanted to get the review out to let you guys know what you get in the package when you purchase the M32 pyro since it's so aesthetically appealing with that out of the way we can continue our review this blaster does not come in its own display box that's why you did not see an unboxing portion to this video as you have seen with other blasters that I've reviewed I asked view blaster if this this is a normal practice and they told me that they do this to save on air freight and to pass those savings along to the customer now i've never had a problem with parts that did not come in a certain box but i know that for some collectors there's a collection slash authenticity concern with not ever getting original boxes with blasters and i can understand that this blaster came in a brown box i'm pretty sure to save space especially since it comes in a very collapsible form getting into the review you get a 32 round drum some collapsible targets that we'll see how they actually work the mechanism that connects the drum to the blaster you get the blaster's core body you get the stock and you get 50 of these unique suction cup darts they seem to be pretty decent quality we're gonna get into it but first we're gonna go ahead and remove all this stuff from the package and then check out each individual component let's get into it all right guys so in the included instructions there are no english translated instructions it's all in chinese i believe just basic things that by the illustration alone you can clearly tell how to put it together but if you're somebody who needs everything in writing and in detailed pictures this might be a little bit more challenging for you it does go step by step on how to assemble the blaster starting from the stock attachment to the drum attachment points to the drum itself obviously loading the darts and then basic operation including the safety and priming the target is a pretty cool piece it happens to be collapsing but self-resetting now i did open up this target and there's some little weights attached to these posts which allow the post to reset itself now the targets do come with the stickers where you could just put these onto the target panels you can assemble it that way the dark foam seems to be pretty stiff and standard according to what you're used to without further ado let's check out the core blaster for a minute the grip seems to be okay even for my large hands seems to be pretty ergonomic the priming handle seems pretty comfortable now after you prime it there's no return spring that brings it forward and leaves it in the front you're just pretty much dancing with the wind here until you get your shot off plastic seems to be a very good quality seems to be well made doesn't have a lot of creaking like i'm used to with some other blasters there's a full picatinny rail along the top of the blaster now i don't know if it comes off on the video or not but there is some slight warping the body of the blaster is slightly warped into a right hand curve this not only goes for the top of the blaster but also for the side of the blaster so it's an overall entire body warping that encompasses the entire blaster from the back to the front i've contacted view blaster about this we're not sure if this is going to affect performance or not but i guess we'll find out once we take it to the range and put it through its paces seems to be compatible with nerf optics however they do fit a little bit loose so it might be more suitable to use something aftermarket that fits better with this kind of rail without further ado we're gonna put this blaster together guys and take it from there all right guys installation of the drum is pretty straightforward i barely even had to look at the instructions you press this button and these two things come apart you're gonna go ahead and hug the drum with these two end coupling pieces make sure the drum guide is going obviously through the drum you're gonna click this in you barely even have to press those buttons to get it in in order to get these in it's very simple you're gonna clip these little keys into these little slots here and the end result is a nice sidewinder style 
mounting point where your drum sits right here on the side of the blaster, just like that, guys. Installation of the stock is pretty simple, just like any other end strike stock that you're used to. Might need a little bit of depression of these buttons here to get it to fully fit. It's not quite the snap in that you're used to, even though it could be maybe a little bit of tapering on these edges will help that happen. This stock attachment point is compatible with other Nerf stocks, depending on what you want to run. If the stock one is not up to par with what you would like to run. See if I can zoom out a little bit here. It is a little bit big for the frame. There we go. And there's your blaster guys. Something cool that this blaster comes with that I have not seen on any other drummer is the fact that you could run it in semi-automatic mode where you would just prime the handle once and fire, there would be no slam fire. And then there's also an auto mode where if you click that, you literally do not even have to hold the trigger down. All you would have to do is just prime the blaster and it would fire and rotate the drum with every single prime, allowing for effectively a full semi-automatic slam fire blaster mode, just like that. Now there is no orange painted muzzle. However, it is an N-Strike compatible attachment point. So you can simply overcome this with paint or by using any brightly orange colored Nerf attachments that you might have handy. Well guys, our product showcase review is over. What do you say we go to the mini range, see how this baby does and see what the fun factor is. Let's Let's get it. Guys, let's switch over to the chronograph to see what kind of speeds these darts we're getting. We'll test the chili darts for good measure because we know that those are tested across the board. Let's get to it. All right, guys, that did not feel very explosive, but we're gonna see if the chrono tells us otherwise. Let's check it out. I was excited when I first saw the M32 on Mongoose Jake's review this past summer, given how much I like Busby's Air Warriors Sidewinder. However, there's a whole lot going on with this blaster that deterred from my recommendation. Starting with poor build quality, you also have poor FPS performance, misfires, a $50 price tag, and to top it off, a 14 to 21 day transit time. Unless this product is revised, this will be a hard pass. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're up for it. We'd love to have you in our community. I already gotta get back to working on the next project, but until next time, stay blasting, foam fam.